In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Divi theme builder to uh, make it easy for you to add full width Divi pages within your Divi theme builder page templates. So on this test site, I've got this page here. It's a badass page and it's been built. The theme page has been built in Divi. If I edit this page, we get the normal block edit. We've got an image at the top, some text, and it all fits nicely into this frame here. Now, also, if I go back, I've got a home page here as well. Uh, coincidentally, it has the same image at the top, but it's its own complete layout. And it is full width on this page, including one little thing I added in a tutorial recently. But the problem is, what happens if I go to this page and I go enable a Divi Builder? We can use the existing content and it will look fine. But then what happens if I decide to remove that content? and I decided to just add in the home page. I'm gonna to go to my existing pages, add in the home page, and you'll see there's a problem. The home page is confined to this template. Now, people have been asking me on some of my other videos, how do we make it so that we can actually edit what's on this page in full width like a Divi page, but still have certain things up there like the page header? Because if I remove this section here, and even say this section here, we got what we offer. Uh, I'm gonna remove that divider quickly. We got all this cool stuff, but it's all boxed in and we want it to be the full width and we still wanna have this sign up for free at the bottom. How exactly do we do that? Well, we're gonna save this layer and we're gonna go in to our theme builder. I'm gonna show you how you can set it up so you can actually still have your, your basically your theme template with the, say the top and this bottom area, but still have full width Divi theme capability in the center. So I'm gonna exit the builder. You can see we're still in the center there. So what we're gonna do is tab back, we're gonna go into our dashboard, into the Divi theme builder. You see we've got a few layouts. Now this layout here is all pages. This is the layout we're using at the moment for the about page. I'm going to actually duplicate that page and I'm gonna make it specifically for about, which is what we were looking at before, about us and save. So now I'm gonna go into the theme builder and click edit. Now we've got our section here that we set up in the center. What we wanna do first of all, is I'm gonna click on this area and there's a bit of a border and there's some bits around it. I wanna go in and make sure I've got things set up properly in here. So I'm clicking on the uh, the row, which is actually within this blue section. So the green area and the cog. And I've got some things here I wanna play with. So under design, I need to check a few things. Under sizing, I need to make sure the width is at 100%. I wanna make sure the max width is also at 100%. So now it's the full width of the builder. I've also got this border here, which you wouldn't necessarily have to deal with, but if I go into border, and I just make that border width zero, I can now tick. Now we've got this page here, it's now the full width, but you also need to check, if I go into my section settings, go to design and spacing, I wanna make sure all my padding is at zero. I want it to be maximized there. And because I plan on starting this, this page up with white, it's very hard to automate the dividers I've found in Divi. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't always work, but for the sake of this video, we'll keep the divider there, go to design. So once again, I'm going to this top section here with the dynamic post title. I'm gonna click the cog, I'm gonna to go to design, dividers, and on the bottom, I'm gonna make that white. So now we have this here, we're full width, and we have the piece at the bottom. Now. Finally, we also, we've removed all padding. We've, remo we've changed this divider. We've removed all of the padding and margin. If you have any margin, remove that as well. Padding and margin from the section. Remove padding and also make sure there's no margin of design spacing for this. So I'll just go zero to be safe. Click tick. And then we want to click on the actual content module itself. Because we need to go into design there, go into sizing, and we want to make sure the width is 100% and the max width is 100%. And we also check the spacing, 
See, we've got padding here, 20, 20, 20. I'm gonna leave that in to show you what it does. So I'm gonna basically go here and save this. I'm gonna exit. And then I'm gonna go up top and hit save changes in the theme builder. So just a quick note, remember what we're doing. We want 0% spacing all around, zero margin, and we want our widths and our max widths to be 100%. So now when I tab across and I refresh this page, you see, this looks good so far. This looks okay, because that was always boxed in. And this full width section is now almost the full width. Because we left 20 pixels of padding in there, it's not reaching the full width. So this can actually be a desired effect too. Something that's worth noting is if you want that effect, you can actually do that as well. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually tab back to the theme builder, go back into our new layout here, and again, we click on the blog content module, the cog, so the gray box with the cog, we go to design and spacing, and we make all of this padding zero, 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 and just to be on the safe side, zero, 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 zero. Tick, save, and tab back and refresh. Now everything is full width. So that is essentially how you can create sort of theme builder pages with headers and bottoms sort of of the page and then actually have full width Divi editing capability within. So if I go into the enable visual builder now, I can go in and edit this full width. I've got all my usual sections here. I've got my rows if I want to add, add those. It's basically like using the Divi builder without the theme builder attached up until I get to down here, which is actually part of the template. Just a side note guys, I noticed this when I was editing, that is the row actually had a bit of padding down the bottom here. So if you do see on your page, if I tab over, a little bit of a white space, it just means you're gonna have to check it out and remove anything which may be a problem. So if I tab back, I've got this space here, I just need to remove that. That is also just the padding I mentioned for, there's actually the column itself has padding. So I wanna go into the column design, spacing, and make sure there's no padding in the column as well. But uh, just check things out. You may notice if you just hover in a few areas, we've got some spacing here again, which for some reason I couldn't get rid of. I didn't see the first time. So just make sure you eliminate any spacing that might pop up on the front end. Uh, that way you can get rid of those little white bars that are appearing. So if I actually tab back now and I refresh this, it's now sewn up and they're together. So just another thought, something I missed while I was recording, just wanted to pop that one in there for you. You'll notice here, if I hover, it says edit body template. I've still got that there, but I've got my page in the center. So I hope you found that video useful. Just a quick little guide on how to make that happen for Divi. So that way you can use the theme builder and the Divi page builder together for your pages. Uh, if you want any more like this, I've got a ton of Divi videos on my channel. I'll pop a playlist link into the description below. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.